Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're talking about Game Pass. Game Pass is now going to... Um, <clears throat> within the year of 2022, we, we, we will be getting a Game Pass family subscription. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me give you my thoughts on this really quick. So, right now, as it sits, Game Pass at $14.99 for Ultimate is... is pr I think it's a sweet spot right now for um, retainability, for... Xbox to be able to retain paying customers $15 a month for the value that it provides is is right at a sweet spot you know because there are some months when it comes when it when when games drop and you're just like oh I don't know about that like we do have some of them months still to where the value any more any more like any more than 15 bucks and that would start to really eat into it would really start to eat into a budget to the point where it's like if something else came up, that would be the first to go. <laughs> and I could definitely see I could definitely see that happening if it was to get any more right now than what it is. Now now if we had like Bethesda firing on all cylinders, Activision firing on all cylinders, Microsoft Game Studios firing on all cylinders, and we were getting games consistently pretty quickly, then I could definitely be perfectly okay with the price going up especially with my gaming habit. <laughs> and this this pertains to my my gaming habit with Game Pass. Like I I would say every month, some months I don't even I don't even download anything off of Game Pass. I usually already have everything I want bought. Um, and then there's some months, you know, like right now, like right now is a good month for me. I'm getting Weird West, I'm getting freaking Crusader Kings 3. I'm getting let's <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a reason why I had this pulled up um recently added so i'm getting weird west i'm getting crusader kings 3 i gotta play shredders and tunic so right there four games man four freaking games that i get to check out that i'm like oh yeah dude that's awesome um some months like there's 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 stuff that i'm just like oh boy i don't even know if that even matters to me i was thinking about checking this out too the memoir blue i was honestly honestly thinking about checking that out but i mean there is enough in game pass that you know you get you get games that, that you're just like wow man these are these are pretty cool you know you get like uh outriders um you can still get forza horizon 5 you can get you know tell me why i mean these these games that are in here are are definitely good enough to where if like i'm sitting there on saturday and i'm having video game anxiety um i can i can just as easily get on there and look through game pass and find a game that i'm like oh yeah man like that's something i've been looking at let me go ahead and try that out and play it and the fact that you can just stream these through the cloud to see if you even like them that just speeds the process up even more making it that much easier to be able to get in and find something that you want as quick as possible so let's talk about where i feel the sweet spot for for game pass family would be and you know, just, just the fact that you might have, um, y however they're going to base that. I mean, if it's like consoles that are on your account are available on there because you can have up to five people on this, uh, on this family pass. So if you've got, if it, if it's tied to, um, uh, users like, like, um, your actual family users that are on your account, that'd be pretty cool. I could, I could kind of see people taking advantage of that though, you know, still, you know, like getting their friends on and all kinds of stuff like that. And I really hope that when this service does come out in order to keep costs low, I really do hope that people don't find, try to find ways to abuse it because that just pushes costs up. I mean, you look at what's going on with Netflix right now and, and people do this. If on Netflix, people abuse that system so freaking much when it was like, what was it like six bucks? It was so cheap to get Netflix that people beat it and abused it so much by giving their password out to so many different people that they just had way more people streaming content than they were selling subscriptions to. And everything gets to that point where it's like, if you take advantage of it, they're going to make you pay for it eventually. And these, 
like services like Netflix, a lot of people have cut their cable. A lot of people don't have cable anymore. So they depend on these streaming services. And if they keep raising the price and now you've got Hulu, you've got um, is Crackle still around, but you got Paramount Plus, you've got um, HBO Max, you've got so many of these things popping up and they're all wanting their 15 bucks. They're all wanting their 15 bucks out of the gate. Disney Plus is pretty cheap, but they still make you pay for movies if you want to watch something that's brand new. But that's what I'm saying. There's so many of them, and they're all popping up, and they're all going to be like, Ooh, we want another bigger piece of the pie, and we want a bigger piece of the pie. I mean, you see what PlayStation done. They came out, they announced their tiers, and then they announced their pricing, and their top tier is $18 for demos and to save your content on. <laughs> it... it I, I don't want to see Game Pass get into a situation to where it becomes, to where to where it gets to the point where the cost just for me anyways, the cost just doesn't outweigh. I mean, outweighs you know the benefit of it. I I am a person that likes to buy games day one. I like to do that. I like to support the developers. I like to pay for that experience because I'm used to that. I'm, I'm used to that. I've been doing that for so long now that it's like, I, it, it's a habit, an addiction, whatever you want to call it. I like to do that. I, I like being excited about a game coming out. I like having it pre-ordered. I like having my money ready to go. I, I, I just like that. I, I am that type of a gamer that I like to be, I like to know that I'm, that I'm, that I'm paying for that game. And it gives me, you know, a greater sense of like, oh man, I like it, it makes me a little more excited to be able to, to jump into that. So with my game pass, with my game pass, um, habit, like I'm, I'm getting to play Crusader Kings three, a game that like interested me through the cutscenes and all of the other stuff. But then when you get into the game and you actually play it, it's a lot more, it, it's a lot more different than what the cutscenes were showing you. I'm very into medieval um, history and just just anything that has to do with medieval fantasy, whatever. So that game immediately caught my eye. The fact that it's on Game Pass and I don't have to 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 commit to buying it, I get to try this game. I get to I get to experience this and you know see if it's something that like yeah, dude, I definitely want to continue playing that. So I mean, basically, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it. You know you know, for a few hours this weekend and really see if it's something that I want to, I want to go ahead and purchase and keep. Um, that's the, that's, that's my habit with, with, uh, with, with game pass. I'm, I'm trying out weird West. Weird West is a game that I would, I, I like to play. I like the idea of it. Like whatever. It's pretty fun. It, it's pretty cool. Like what I played today when I made a video was pretty cool. Like I do like that. And then when I get over to, uh, you know, like Crusader Kings and, and like some of the other stuff, you know, like uh, Shredder, stuff like that. These are all games that caught my eye initially. And I was like, yeah, I want to play those. But now I get to play them and I don't have to spend the almost $200 for all of these games. Well, it's like a hundred and something. It, it's over a hundred bucks for all these games that I don't have to put out this month. I just get to play them. I, I just get to play them because I already have my subscription. So... Let's talk about where the sweet spot for the family plan should fall. I am thinking if it's just Game Pass and you're not buying gold or whatever, just Game Pass, $20 a month, $19.99. They should only charge you $5 more for that if these systems are in your home. If they're all on the same, I, I like if they're all in the same home running off the same, you know, <clears throat> off the same internet server or whatever. I don't think they should charge you more than $20. I, I, I just don't. If that's the way that they found to make it like that, you know, and with 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 whoever's on your family, you know, in your family or whatever, if they found a way to where, you know, people aren't gonna just be giving their 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 um their subscription out to a bunch of other people that are that are living like a hundred miles away, twenty bucks. But if 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 they, if it's impossible for them to figure out a way to contain that account to that household then yeah dude I, I i can't see the price staying low for a long time if if that's if that's how it's going to be because people we know how people in subscription services are they they abuse them they abuse them so it it just makes you know i mean and this isn't me like being like oh yeah but what about the guys that game share hey if they game share one guy buys one game the other guy buys another game 
they get two copies their councils are hooked together those guys are they're, they're both spending money on the marketplace and they're like I, I don't have a problem with that like i personally do not have a problem with that so <clears throat> when it comes to you know that like i'm i'm perfectly okay with that but when it comes to like the the subscription part of it I don't want to see Xbox Game Pass get abused to the point where it costs us an arm and a leg for this service. Because if it gets to that point, I'm already to the point where it's like, I personally just buy what I want to buy. I, I just buy what I want to buy. Game Pass definitely makes it easier for me to find other stuff that like I normally wouldn't buy. And I like that. And that to me is worth 15 bucks. That to me is worth my, well, my $10 because I'm already paying for gold. That to me is worth my $10 a month to be able to get on there and try a game that you know looks interesting to me that's worth my ten dollars a month more than worth my ten dollars a month so at this point i think 20 bucks to 25 bucks if it's if it's ultimate for everybody and everybody in the house well see that's the thing yeah if if it's ultimate and everybody in the house you know gets access to gold or whatever as well then i could see it going a little more but i think 20 to 25 bucks 24.99 i think that's reasonable enough to where it would it would continue to be um, something that that Xbox would be else would be able to sustain and have people continue to um, continue to stay with the service, and it would help them to to retain those those um, those accounts longer if the price stayed. It, the price has to stay within an amount to where it's not going to be like. If, if it starts getting to be to the price of a game, nobody's going to do that. Nobody's get, nobody like people cannot afford to buy a game every single month. There, there, there's gamers out there. It, it defeats the whole purpose of having this subscription service. If you have to pay the pi price of a video game. So, I mean, at max at max with five people on there, twenty nine ninety nine. And that's for ultimate and hopefully that's with <laughs> that's with ubisoft plus included in that because i feel like this is kind of going to launch around the same time that ubisoft plus comes to um the xbox so if that includes that at 30 bucks a month for the whole family like i could kind of see that being like okay like 30 bucks a month but think about that that sounds pretty high i mean you, like, that that sounds pretty high to me that is half the cost of a game every month and there you got to remember that there are people out there that only buy two to four games a year so if they've got to pay almost that i mean it, it just i don't know i don't know i don't I, I don't know i'm a little nervous about it um in a perfect world we could just see them leave the same price and just be like oh yeah because i pay ten dollars a month for my for my microsoft office and word and all of that <clears throat> and I can have five family members on that. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that the price doesn't go up too much because I'm, I'm thinking they could probably do something with, uh, with the, uh, with the 10 bucks or whatever, uh, with the $20 and be able to, to keep that as a, as a, as a, as a system that people are going to, are going to stick with. So that's my thoughts on it. I, I feel like it, I don't feel like they're going to go out of their way to shoot themselves in the foot and raise the price too high because that just wouldn't make any sense. Um, but I would like to see how this is going to work out. I'm definitely, I'm definitely excited about this, and I want to see exactly how this goes. I, I want to see what kind of, uh, I want to see if they're feeling a little bit, uh, what's the word for it? If they're feeling a little bit PlayStation lately with their, uh, with their, uh, <laughs> with their success. So we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out shortly. Um, <laughs> we'll definitely find out shortly. So if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.